Oh, we can do this one out loud too. What should we start with here? The same way as we did last time. We definitely have to worry about rearrangements here, so we wouldn't want to do an alkylation. And then, and then we add the Cl to an FeCl3 or AlCl3. Wait, no. What are you at? Oh yeah, I'm just kidding. And then, and then you so add the um, that last the CnHg HCl and E. Right. Would it have worked if we put the halogen on first? Could we do this step first? What's wrong with that? It's an ortho pair direction. That's right. So you have to make sure you're putting things in the right order. That would be the biggest problem, thing that would give people difficulty here, putting things in the wrong order. Well, we couldn't put the halogen on first here. That's right. Reduce an alkene Clemenson. bond? Yeah, sorry. Clemenson? Yeah. Um, well, we know that uh, alke uh, alkene carbon carbon double bonds definitely can be hydrogenated. Okay. However, no, the, the uh, Clemenson reagents, these are just for carbonyls. So the zinc amalgam, the zinc mercury amalgam, is just for carbonyls. So that's when you would use it when you have other. Things. Yeah, so this would be good to be selective. You wouldn't want to do the hydrogenation if you had alkene bonds as well. Because um, then those might get uh, hydrogenated. And of course, one thing that we've been going without saying is that we haven't been worried about the benzene double bonds hydrogenating. But these are very resistant to hydrogenation because they don't want to lose the aromaticity. It's pretty hard to hydrogenate benzene because it doesn't want to lose the aromaticity. Okay, well, I think you guys have a, a good grasp of uh, going back and forth between the alkanoylation and the acylation here. We should talk about, uh, so we've talked about a couple of disadvantages of Friedel Crafts alkylation and advantages of Friedel Crafts acylation, we haven't mentioned that there's one thing that both of them have as a disadvantage. One thing they both have as a disadvantage is neither of them will work on a strongly deactivated ring. Friedel Crafts reactions don't work on strongly deactivated rings. Mildly deactivated or moderately deactivated, maybe it'll work, but not on a strongly deactivated ring. You can't do a Friedel Crafts alkylation or alkanoylation on a strongly deactivated ring. What, what have we learned of as the strongest deactivator? NO2. NO2, that's right. So you can't do a Friedel Crafts acylation or alkanoylation if there's an NO2 group. We know why is this so deactivating? So there's actually a positive formal charge on the nitrogen. Incidentally, I should have mentioned before that this is also very strongly deactivating. Three fluorines connected to the carbon. This is strongly deactivating just because there's a positive charge. Everything else would probably go in the moderate deactivators. And of course, the halogens are only slightly deactivating. So, um, and actually, these, uh, these don't, uh, I don't know if you can be tested on those. The one that you should really watch out for is the nitro group. You can't do a Friedel Crafts acylation or alkanoylation if there's already a nitro group. Let's think about how to do this synthesis. First of all, we have to decide what type of functional group is this. Carbonyl. Yeah, this is just a condensed notation for a carbonyl. This is really kind of a ketone. Let's propose what would be a good first step here. To put the carbonyl on 
first. Anyway, you wouldn't want to put the NO2 on first because it would be harder to then add something than if you had put the carbonyl on first. That's right. And in this case, not just harder, but impossible. In, in, most, in many cases, even with NO2, you can. So I don't want to make it seem like NO2 completely shuts down benzene. Um, there are reactions you can still do with an NO2. Um, it's a deactivator, not a terminator. But um, it's not going to, but it does terminate uh, the friedel crafts reactions. OK, and then. So that's a pretty straightforward application of what we just said. So what would be the wrong way to do this? The wrong way would be to do this step first. Because if you put the nitro group on first, this reaction won't work. So this is a case where you can only work to do the Friedel crafts first. So in general, the lesson is, if you're planning to put on a nitro group, you kind of want to do the Friedel crafts reaction first. Suggestions for a first step. First, add the acetylhaline or acetylhaline. And then two equivalents of H and MP. Now, are those going to add in the places that we want them to? Yes. Yeah, because this is a Withdrawal. meta director. Yeah, it's a deactivator in the meta director, and we want these to be in the meta positions. Now, this adds NO2 groups, not NH2 groups. So now you can add any of the um, reduction because it's going to do both the NO2 and the carbonyl yeah. at the same time. Have we learned about any hydrogenators that would work on both of these? The the hydrogenation? Yeah, the amalgamated zinc and hydrochloric, it looks like we work on both of those. That will reduce both the carbonyl and the nitro groups. So what would be the mistake that people could make here? Adding well, nitrous, sorry? Adding the nitros first. Yeah, it seems perfectly natural to add the nitro groups first, but once you've added two nitro groups, there's no way you're going to get this Friedel crafts reaction to work. Um, so we have to do the Friedel crafts first before we put in the nitro groups. Okay, so those are some important synthesis issues for Friedel crafts alkylation and alkylation. How to go back and forth. Um, the advantages of alkanoylation over alkylation, and also both alkanoylation and alkylation have one disadvantage, which is that they won't work if there's a nitro group. Now, do you remember that we've said that most electrophilic aromatic substitutions are not reversible, but there's one that we've learned that is reversible. What's the sulfon. one that? That's right, sulfonation. So first of all, how do we put the sulfon group on? H2SO4 and 
That's our fuming sulfuric acid. And remember, that gives us what's called a benzene sulfonic acid. Now, it turns out that this reaction is reversible. That is, we can simply take off the sulfon group and replace it with the hydrogen. And that's a very simple reaction. I think it's just uh, aqueous acid. And heat. We won't go through the mechanism for that, but that replaces the sulfon group with a hydrogen.